Hi, Kirsty Young here. We built a shed for family and friends. Thank you to everybody who helped. The shed is 4.5 by 2.25 metres and we were all to a person novices from site prep to putting the formwork down for the slab, the pouring of the slab, the building of the ship itself. The whole thing took five months because there were long gaps between each stage and this is how we went. As I said, we were all novices, no building experience with a kit shed or any other shed for that matter, but we're pretty pleased with the result. This stump needs to come out, so we're going to have a go at pulling it out with the four wheel drive. Okay, let's try it. It's trying, have another go. Oh, nearly. Yay! Yep. Righty up. Oh, yep. We might have to put it lower down. What do you reckon, Ben? Yeah. Oh. No. Nah. No wonder it didn't want to come out. We've exposed the roots and been cutting them to give us a bit more of an advantage. After cutting a few roots, we've managed to push it over just using the front of the four wheel drive. The slab site is nearly ready. I had to buy some Rio mesh for the bottom of it and the more heavy duty uh, rusty stuff is left over from the house build which has just been sitting around for the last however many years. I just need to cut the overlap bit of the end here to fill up this gap down here and put the last of the little chairs in place and the concreter, concrete truck will be here tomorrow morning. Okay, truck's here, getting ready for the pour.
we're taking the form work off today, what, four or five days later. A bit of graffiti here, if you will. If you're going to have a wet slab, you might as well ride on it. The forward's all off now. You can see it's uh, not fully cured, but that's okay. We're not in a big hurry. We probably won't start the shed build until after Christmas, into the new year. Well, the day has come to put the shed up. So far, we are just figuring out. Bit of a late start because it rained until 10 o'clock. But never mind. We're off. For this project, I'm chief cook and bottle washer. I'm making a fabulous lunch for the workers and the fam. In the meantime, progress out here is slow, they report, but it is happening. The roof panels have been assembled. Now they're working out what's next. Probably the legs. We're making the sides now. You can see one in the background that's already been made. Oh, they're the ends, not the sides. So that's all happening. Looking good. Good cooperation happening, which is always nice, but we're going to break very shortly for lunch. So lunch is over. Back at work. We're making the back of the shed now. Over lunch, the consensus was with the 35 page instruction book it was hard to find the information that you wanted but when you did find that it, it was all on one page so the instructions aren't terribly well organized but but they're still getting there without any mishap now we're nothing out there the doors go together it's not all as straightforward as one would hope. It's inside, isn't it? There isn't it's the boys aren't impressed with the instructions. <laughs> They're not always accurate. There are a few typos. Some of the information is missing. So they've had to nut out a few things of what they've had to do. None of us have built a shed before, so there's a bit of learning going on at the same time. The gable ends are being attached or constructed. Okay, it's next day. We gave up yesterday and uh, decided to do the rest today. So, time to put the ends up. Time to get the diner bolts in, putting the framework up. Okay, it's the end of day two. We've got a late start, 11 a.m. Uh, it's now 6.40 p.m. But the sides are up. And the boys are just putting in some diner bolts. Yep, I was just going to put the mud on her. The instructions allowed for two diner bolts, one on each side of the main support, but they supplied 22. So the boys are adding diner bolts all around the sides of the, the base of the shed. There is only one structural support for the shed, so that's even more of a reason to bolt the bottom of the whole shed down with diner bolts. Anyway, Tomorrow we will tackle the shed roof. The ends of the sheds are supported by these uh, bits of wood, one on the inside and outside at both ends. They will get caught in the wind otherwise. It's breezy now so who knows what wind might come up later tonight.
I'm not even touching it anymore, guys. Oh, just actually. Now they're screwing down the roof. When you come up here, Benny, you'll see the hole you want up to move the... There'll be more dyna bolts to put into the slab as well at some point. Yeah. Well, they've just announced that the shed is finished. There are a few more dyna bolts to go in the base though. And a bit of silicon here and there. And hey presto, we have a shed. Well done, lads. So the job is done. The boys put extra dyna bolts around the base. It's a bit gappy at the bottom but we're just going to put a bit of um, polyfiller or whatever you call it around there to seal those. I reckon that will happen sometime today. And we're going to run the hose on it in the not too distant future on the roof to see if it leaks. The doors had to be rehung but now they look great. There were a few things that had to be redone but we got there in the end. There was a bit of water that came through after the sprinkling. So it looks like there'll be some more silicon applied to seal those off before anything's brought in here that doesn't want to get wet. Now it's a day or two later. Don't worry about the hose on the roof test. We've just had 20 mils of rain with a fair bit of gusting wind behind it and you can see here, just here, here and here and one up near the camera, um, a bit of leakage. So that's pretty impressive. A little bit of moisture has come in underneath that polyfiller as well. And that is the windward side. So that's coming under there. Anyway, just a few more bits of tweaking and the whole thing will be ready to fill up as one does with a shed. Happy days. <laughs>